hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss matthew arnold uh, biography and his writing style and uh, his poem is included in your slippers and to understand his poetry you must understand his writing style so begin with a brief introduction of matthew arnold right so matthew arnold he was born on 24 december 1822 and died on 15 april 1888 and uh, he was born at Hellingham, right, in the Valley of Thames. So he was English Victorian writer, poet, social critic, and best known for his uh, assault on the contemporary test and the habits of the nobility and uh, Philistines, right. So we'll discuss what this Philistines is later on and then uh, he was described as a voice essayist right matthew arnold he is extraordinary in that his uh, notoriety rests in similarity upon his verse and verse analysis and his writing was considered as urban pedantic right and regularly satirical so satire mockery and uh, satire on society right uh, on on society and beliefs of the people and will find uh, science versus religion in his poetry and especially in his poem which is part of your course which is the Dover Beach like so he tries on the faith of people how it's getting weak and uh, his willful errand of illuminating social cognizance of England and this is his biography and details his life at Oxford. So he, at Oxford, he was a teacher of poetry, right? He became a vocal person as well and published the poetic volume, uh, straight revealer and other poems as well. So these are some details, teaching of poetry and interest in criticism as well so he later part of his life arnold began to devote more attention to social and theological subject and he was a devoted christian who who concluded in his writing that christianity would ser serve because the teaching the teaching of the christ address issues central to moral existence of mankind so his theory of um, poetry which is very important or not theory of poetry i'll discuss it in a separate video because that is a long theory right very important theory and we'll understand it deeply right and uh, he he was a literary art critic and uh, also known as uh, uh, father of uh, modern english criticism as well and his uh, literary work include the study of poetry which is very famous and very uh, renowned and uh, so he considered poetry as uh, as a uh, poetry as a criticism of life right because he believed that the poetry has some meaning right didactic purpose and apart from that uh, his writing style further his writing style are not classicism yes he has a love for classics and uh, we we'll find the elements of classicism right his loving master greeks and a true classicist arnold has a classical mind and sought to embody the greek spirit in his writing and Arnold form and content is concerned according to Arnold true poet doesn't uh, comprise extravagance of articulation or the wealth of pictures nobility of expression and uh, he clarify and gravity and he says that Arnold poetry shows a feeling of love writers feeling must be awakened by magnificence grace and elegance of his style and he was a critical writer best known for his criticism and generally focused on honorability of thought and in his writing arnold is limpid and uh, lampant and effortlessly and certainly are his major strength in his work and sense of color Arnott is a classic, classicism found the elements of classicism especially with reference to Greeks and Arnott is a pictorial craftsman 
who paints with the pen rather than with a brush and all the readers find in the uh, poem blooms red and white gold and this colorful right mythical uh, saw pens mythology right and then arnold symbolism he used symbolism images and references and see his representative image in his poetry yes so in his poem we'll discuss uh, see imagery in his poem the dover beach uh, and that is part of your course i'll discuss it analysis and then uh, yes uh, the conflict between religion and science as well and with driving c represent the decay of religious uh, confidence or religious faith right lack of faith in religion and or not musicality the music and song of his words are indisputable and in tougher beach for instance the uh, the ebbing and streaming movement of the influxes of the ocean realize the unpleasant music and the uh, readers hear the sound of the progressing and withdrawal ocean and free verse yes uh, arnold might be viewed as the maker of the verse library or free verse and following a uh, german and partly by sado old style a version of rhyme and homeric smile homeric or reference to homer right traditional similes are detail point by uh, examination and so this is all about arnold hope you understand and in upcoming video i'll discuss his poem the Dower beach so you can understand it better thank you for watching